A historic church in Calpens was engulfed by flames this afternoon. What authorities now say is a total loss. Our Sophia Radabaugh joins us in studio. She had the chance to talk to leaders of First Baptist Church of Calpens. Sophia, how are they handling all of this tonight? Ayla, yes, the community is absolutely shocked after this church that's been here since 1878 went up in flames this afternoon. I was able to speak to pastors at the church and the Calpins fire chief who were devastated by the loss. A staple to the Calpins community. The memories will always be there and God's church is always there too. First Baptist Church of Calpins went up in flames around 2.15 Saturday afternoon. Worship Pastor Larry Lawson says he's devastated. He was raised sitting on the front row every Sunday. Growing up here, driving here, I just thought of the wonderful memories that we had. I could see it coming from Spartanburg and this is the second fire we've had as a church. And so it's been to go through it again is, uh, as a, an adult is a lot harder. But amid the destruction, interim pastor Kermit Morris says God was with them. When the fire was burning right over the sanctuary, a rainbow appeared right in the midst of the fire. And it's just God's promise that he's going to be with us. And we know that, we understand that. The fire chief at Calpins Fire Department says about 20 fire departments and 60 firefighters responded to the scene and were on standby. Our response time was very quick, but once we got here, the fire had already advanced uh, well within the second floor and into the attic. He says crews couldn't do much to stop the fire from causing more damage, but they were able to stop it from reaching the fellowship hall behind the church. The chief says he's confident the church will be even stronger after this loss. This community is uh, resilient and that says a lot. Blanton confirmed one firefighter injury and the church secretary who was inside at the time was able to get out without being hurt. Yes, and firefighters we spoke to at the scene said it could take them days to get the fire completely out. The cause of the fire is still unknown, but an investigation is underway. Of course, we'll keep you updated as we learn more on air and WSPA.com. All right, thank you so much, Sophia. We're continuing to